So as a lot of you know, to do a lot of jobs on these cars, you have to put it in service mode, which means removing the front bumper and sliding the core support forward just a bit to get room to do cam belts, timing belts, etc., etc. One of the first steps you're going to want to do is obviously remove these little push pin clips right here. And sometimes you struggle with these. There's a way I like to do them if you don't have a special tool. And it's actually to push the pin all the way through, if that makes sense. So let's take this one, for example. So I have just a pin here. I'm going to push it through. Come underneath it with a panel puller. Careful not to scratch the plastic, especially if it's a customer's car. And then you should be able to pop those up. And they're easy to lose. They fell right down there, so not a big deal. But that is the way that I get these off personally. So push them down. Again, one-hander. Careful not to scratch the customer's car. Pop them up just like so. They have a little ridge here where the plastic goes in once you do that. And then to reinstall them, I push them all the way back out and pop them back in and insert them like that and then clip that down. So to carry on down the line, we'll just go through and push those down. Just take your time, don't force it. These are really easy to break. So I just take my time and eventually you'll get them out complete if you do it right. Now from here, the plastic piece gets lifted up and it slides backwards. There's little tabs underneath. Slide them this way and up. Now we're gonna get this uh, air box removed here. Get up and out of the way. And I like to put a lot of the hardware that I take out right back where I found it. That way, you know, you don't lose your, you don't lose your things, man. All right, this is the inside of the bumper here. You have this connector right here. There's a little tab on top. Pull that forward. And then slide that up. Push together first and then pull. That'll usually help them get unstuck. And then you have one more module right down under here. If you don't want to unplug this, you can probably just twist it out of here if I remember correctly. All right, we'll take these little uh, T25 screws out of the top right here. Put those somewhere safe. And while we're up here, we'll uh, pop these T30s. All right, that's pretty much everything disconnected from the top now. We got those wires disconnected, um, all the bolts disconnected. Uh, now we're going to go underneath. Come over here to the tire and then the wheel well. And you're going to find these little Torx T25 bolts. And then this little uh, liner will pull forward. You get a bunch of dirt and grime out of it. And then we just got that uh, 10 millimeter bolt right there, but you don't got to take that off. You can actually just pop this out. Because sometimes you can't. Oh, you can. Just grab that and pull it down. You can also, if you're having trouble with that, you can pop this off and just slide it out, so. And then right up here, just grab it right about here. And pull it out. Just like that. No clips broken. All right, over to the other side. Gonna do the same thing. Guys, power tools save you so much time. I'll throw a link in the bio for this. Probably the best $180 I ever spent in my life. Can you imagine sitting here and just wrenching back and forth all day? No, thank you. If you value your time, man, those are, those are key to have. I don't like turning ratchets no more. So I'm just throwing these all in a bin. I remember where they go. And let's pull this back and get all of our Lovely road grime to fall on us. Same thing getting here. Push up first, grab the tab out, straight down. Easy peasy. All right? All right. Find the liner's done. Again, right here in the corner. Just grab, pull straight out. But look at that, someone already has it loose for me. Boom. All right, everything from the top is now really disconnected. Here we are underneath the car. 
Now we're gonna remove these bolts. These bolts, if I remember correctly, they have a little shoulder on them. So you remember to keep these separate. But just pop these guys out. Again, power tools all day long. All right, see how those little bolts have a shoulder on them? So that's where those go, the shouldered bolts. All right, so now you can just kind of grab her and slide her out. Pow, just like so. All right, now back under the car right in front of the sway bar, you have this little bar right here. Power tool its life away. All right, I also wanted to mention too, I'm not trying to disconnect any of the coolant lines and I do not have a Freon machine to remove the Freon out of here either. So we're actually not removing this whole entire core support. We're gonna give her the old barn door. We're just gonna pull this down and just give us enough room to get into the top and get into the bottom where we need to. So the next few steps is, I'll show you how to disconnect this hood latch right here and then we're gonna be disconnecting this bumper down here. And we're just gonna, kind of barn door this thing up a little bit where we just pull it out a few inches because really all I need is a few inches to get my hand in there and work around that. So let's go ahead and disconnect this little hood latch. Let's pop those teeth and kind of pry it out. Same thing down here. Put a little tension on it. Put that somewhere safe. Pull up that. Then it pops the little door open and then it'll pop out just like that. And we don't want to put any pressure on this little plastic line. Obviously the other coolant hoses have a little bit more give in them. Not a lot, but enough to get up in here. So we're just gonna stick this in, gently pull this up, give that a little wiggle. Leave that hanging right there. Down here, we're gonna disconnect the transmission lines just from the front. This will give us a little more room. That all leaves a little bit of flex, but not a lot. But we just need a couple of inches in here anyway, so it's tight. All right, now we're just gonna come right in here and undo this bumper. All right, now I'm popping. Bottom bolt off. All right, this one I'm not gonna take all the way out. We're gonna leave that in there just for now. And we'll just pull off some of this wiring just cause it's gonna give us that little extra push here. I can just stay loose. As minimal as possible. So on the other side here. Same thing, I'm not gonna take this one out all the way. She already wants to drop. We're gonna take off these T30s back here. So another solution once to take these bolts out is you can take a quarter inch extension here. And look at, it like jams in there really tight. So one quarter inch extension there, we're gonna slide it out on that. And if you don't have these, just go down to the store and get them. They're pretty cheap. Got another extra long one right here. And same thing. Stick it in the hole, slide it forward. Now let's pop out that last bolt. All right, so now pretty much the whole core support, sh the core support should start to wiggle forward here. Just feel everything for tension. Make sure nothing's getting yanked on. Like this isn't too tight. The lower coolant line right here, yeah, she has a little clip. But, good old panel clip removers. Pull that up out the way. You can see right here, 
that uh, the extension's holding it from falling. And nothing else is really connected, but look at all that room for activities already. Check the intercooler tubing, make sure uh, that's not getting too tight. Uh, nothing's too tight back here. So yeah, pretty much these still want to put tension on it. Um, you can just disconnect these, it's really simple if you need more room. I think we got enough room though. Nothing really has tension on it. All these pipes are still movable and we got all this room to move now. And of course my GoPro decided to stop recording audio so that's wonderful. But once you get that move forward you get about 4 or 5 inches of extra play here. This gives you plenty of room for activities. So much room to get all that stuff done. I use a 2x4 with the quarter inch extension here. This helps it so that it doesn't slide back on itself so that it just stays out if you lean on it. It doesn't push back up against there. Smaller piece of wood on the other side. And that pretty much wraps up how I do my quick hack to get the Q5s in service position without the fancy tools or all that other good stuff. Yo, and if this video helped you guys out, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. All that support helps me create more content for you guys so I can continue to do this. I'd rather do this than work, and I'd rather produce content for you guys to help other people. So come follow the channel, tune into the next video to see the oil pan done. Thanks for watching this far. Peace. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.